Godot 4 is out of beta and officially in its first release candidate. This has been a massively busy month with seven new versions of the beta coming out from version 11 to version 17. The sprint focusing on stability and final changes for an impending Godot 4 release. And it's one that's been really, really hard for me to keep up with, with an absolute bunch of versions coming out all over the holidays. In a typical software life cycle, we get an alpha version, which is the first phase of software testing, and a beta version, which is typically feature complete, but still prone to bugs, a release candidate being the first potentially stable product, or the first potentially stable version of the beta, and then that release candidate can go on to become a stable release once any of the last issues are ironed out. The first beta came out on the 15th of September, so the contributors really need to be commended for getting an absolutely incredible level of pace over the last four months. The blog post for the release candidate is available, and there is a link to download that in the description. I would argue that bug reports are more important now than ever, so that we can avoid any irritations making their way into the stable release. So Godot 4 has had some huge sweeping changes from Godot 3, but there are some desired features that haven't made their way into Godot 4 and have been pushed back into either version 4.x releases or for the version 4.1 release. Yesterday evening, for me, the 8th of February, the release candidate came out, and I was able to very quickly get my course Godot for Beginners up to date to run on that. So if you want to try out the release candidate now in full, my course is available and there's a not small sale where you can get access to a scale project running in the release candidate and see how a bunch of the new features work, as well as get access to extra documentation on how a bunch of Godot 4 features work. In addition to that, my course has had some fairly major updates over the last couple weeks. I've been hard at work on a tutorial documenting the process of creating a 3D platformer in Godot 4 from the ground up. That's something very similar to the demo you see in Godot for beginners with the duck running around. At the moment the first three chapters are available which cover setting up a character, movement, moving a camera, all from the ground up. Ideally you should be able to follow that with no programming experience prior to it. And if that's not something you need, it does also at least illuminate a lot of what my process is for creating a 3D platformer like that. And that's everything news-wise for the release candidate and the course. I will see you in the next one. See you.